Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, radar has been more active over the last uh, several hours, so let's go, let's go right to it with uh, showers and thunderstorms, the heaviest of which are south and west of Providence. These areas of orange and yellow indicating some downpours and a few rumbles of thunder. Let me switch over to a different radar product because what the radar can do is actually estimate how much rain has fallen. So quite simply, these colors represent uh, rainfall amounts in the last 24 hours. The areas in blue are roughly about a third of an inch of rain in the last 24 hours out towards New Bedford, but we've had some heavier downpours out towards westerly where you can see the rainfall totals have been much higher, especially out towards um well, southeastern Connecticut, and even offshore, some of these heavier rain bands, about a half inch of rain, uh, all heading towards southern Rhode Island right now. Let's switch back over now to a live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and you can see uh, some of the uh, areas of orange and yellow across uh, southern Rhode Island, Kingston and Narragansett, and heavier rain uh, just over the border in eastern Connecticut. A lot of this is actually tracking off to the uh, north and west at around uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour, so for the most part, it is staying south and west of Providence. However, I do expect this area to be filling in. So those areas where we don't have a lot of rain and heavy downpours right now, uh, Providence metro area, some of this will be filling in, but uh, downpours likely. And again, the rumble of thunder too, our lightning tracker has been indicating some lightning strikes. Clouds and fog in Providence right now with some drizzle and mist at 48, a cold and raw night courtesy of that northeast wind. Temperatures only upper 40s to lower 50s, 51 in Newport. And here's our lightning tracker. Notice all the lightning strikes just offshore moving in this direction. So we will keep the chance for some scattered thunderstorms in the forecast throughout the overnight hours. The concentration right now out towards a westerly and eastern Connecticut. So overnight tonight, periods of rain, some downpours and the rumble of thunder. Temperatures will actually slowly rise through the middle 50s, giving it the yellow caution light tomorrow morning because of the rain, the potential for some thunder. So a little extra travel time, temperature between 55 and 60. Mainly cloudy, still the threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms at just about any time. Looking at the hour-by-hour hour temperature trace for the afternoon hours, somewhere between roughly 60 and 64. While that is, that is slightly milder than what we had today, it's still well below normal of the normal high temperatures, about 70. Boaters, you've got an east-northeast wind tomorrow, 15 to 20. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, temperatures in the lower 60s. Along the south shore, places like Narragansett, more of the same with periods of rain at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon looking at a temperature of 63 northern part of the state in the low 60s with that east northeast breeze scattered showers the rumble of thunder not everybody getting a thunderstorm but the chance is there and along the uh, southeast coast and southeastern massachusetts looking at temperatures in the low to mid 60s middletown 59 little compton 59 Seacock 61 with a chance of a thunderstorm. Seven day future cast shows unsettled conditions through at least Friday. Now both Thursday and Friday, the difference will be a little brightening, so some partial sunshine, but that extra warmth will only fuel showers and thunderstorms both days. However, by the weekend, we start to see some light at the end of the tunnel, partly sunny, warmer on Saturday. Other than a stray shower, it is a much better day, and Sunday is even better, brighter and warmer and drier too, finally. High temperature on Sunday closer to mid-May levels at around 70. But it's one of those slow-moving systems that's slow to leave. And Mitchell will update you tomorrow morning beginning at uh, 5 a.m. So while you're sleeping tonight, you may hear the rumble of thunder and the downpour on your rooftop. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Tony.